now we study about the swing swing in marble designer is quite easy as compared to real life in which tailor made hard work to sew the clothes so now we have the both sides and the brighter side is facing outwards these tools are for sewing this one is to show sewing this one is to edit sewing and third one is for free sewing i get segment sewing segment sewing is very simple anything that is between two segment points these are segment point anything that is between the two segment point can be sewed together you can sew the segment which are the same length or not so i am going to sew these together and i am going to sew wrong to just show you so when you see something like that it means it is wrong because it try to sew opposite parts which could be a, a problem so now i have going to grab this one and right click and choose reverse swing when you sew you should always ensure have parallel lines like this for some cases where you might need something a small part cross like that for some twisting but for most dresses like shirt pants you need to have these parallel lines you must ensure that you don't have x lines which result in error so i am going to delete the swing to show you again so the thing to pay attention for you this little cross line when you click on this second segment you want to not have this cross line x means error or reverse swing so keep the seams straight to make uh, correct clothes i can also attach this side or to this side but when i go down i get the x sign which is wrong so i gonna click here as you see the seams are straight now i repeat that on other side and i gonna sew this top things now i click here and then here and you get straight the seam now i click here on this and and now on this end and now ensure that i got the straight lines now i simulate with the space bar this is good now i show you if this is reverse so see there is a more problems i undo that now the free swing is advanced swing which can sew freely along the any segment wherever you want you can sew whatever length you want you can sew on any space for example you sew longer length to smaller length to create any punchy effect but right here i don't want this what as you see you can sew different segment of different length for another example we can sew neck here 
and space bar to simulate then we get close neck now as you see here the swing not exactly the same length so want to edit that just click on edit swing click on point you want to edit and drag it as per your need and if i want to lift higher i can drag up and move this point also and to delete the swing simply right click and choose delete swing here i'll load the project of school dress and i like to show you how changing seam lengths can open up the shirt and also show you cool features of swing in these areas so i am going to turn simulation on then i am going to this tool which is edit seam tool and as you see this part in is this 3d pattern window so by left mouse i drag down so by holding left mouse button i drag down i get the open neck now i drag this point also down here then you see neck is starting to open up i turn simulation off then i drag the point further down and now turn simulation on you see we get border open neck now see them back now see them back to close neck and you see as i draw point you see this point a little blue dot down there that's an indication where my line should be it is helpful to match the lines it is very helpful to match the lines i just click on it i notice that my seams are overlapping here which will be a problem so i am going to edit them and here when i click it i get this pop up as there are two seams overlapping from which you will choose which one we want to edit as you see red one is down one and i want to edit upper one which is blue one so when i click i select the blue one now i simulate you can see neck is closing again there is also a cool trick if you open the neck without deleting and changing seam which is just right click and choose option deactivate swing as you see neck is now open and you see deactivate seam there and any time you want to close it again just activate the seal again this tool is show and hide swing in 2d pattern window so you get the cleaner view of all your patterns all right now i am going to show you how to 
हाई डेन हानाइड सीमी थ्री डी गार्बन विंडो आई जस्ट राइट क्लिक एंड डीएक्टिवेट सीम एंड टर्न सिमुलेशन ऑन सो वी कैन सी द लाइन्स ना यू जस्ट ना आई जस्ट ड्रैक दिस वन टू अप यू सी द सीम्स एंड समटाइम्स वेन यू हैव वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स शेप्स देर इज सो मैनी सीम्स इट बिकम्स वेरी हार्ड टू कंसनट्रेट ऑन पैटर्नस then you go to this clothing symbol and choose this option this option will hide and hide these gray seams this option will hide and hide these gray seams these gray lines are not showed in rendering and these option will turn off seam and this is the actually option which will turn seam off this option is for pins and just clicking on this t-shirt icon will hide all clothing i'll just move it back now here is option for X-ray joints, bounding box. This is arrangement point. There is how you want to look at your garment. If you want to see it in wireframe, if you want to see on stress map which shows cloth where the cloth is tight. and where the cloth is loose the green part is loose as you see here and everywhere there is red cloth is tight as you see on the breast it is tight and here is some loose part now i am going back to this mode which is texture surface mode as you see here pretty tight and here is pretty loose so that is very useful to see which part is pretty tight and loose on your model if it is extreme tight you see the parts of skin showing through which could be a problem then there is another view which is monochromatic view which is going to show you how the dress without any texture it shows only the object color if you don't assign color it going to show you white now i assign the texture but you don't see the texture in monochromatic view i switch to texture view i will see it now and this one is thick texture surface view which shows thickness of different part as you assign them so if you assign thickness just always see in thickness texture mode and here at last of all you change how you want to see avatar this one is gray shaded mode this one is wireframe mode 
and if you don't want to see the avatar just click on this so you can see inside of clothes which is cool so you can see all the errors in the model so you can see all the errors in the clothing or all the sim from the inside move it around to see all the seams or the buttons